I'm trying to think the best way to explain him. Like he was okay. So he was super calming to have around. Like you could have just such a good conversation with him, and he would kind of calm you down and talk you off a ledge sometimes. But in that same breath, you could feel how stressed he was because he cares so much. Mm. And so it's like, a little bit of both. It, it humanized him, right? It did because like when I would struggle, I felt like he struggled with me. When Dustin Pedroia would struggle, he would struggle with him. That wasn't much, but he struggled with me a lot more than Dustin. <laughs> but he just for a manager of a of a major league team, he genuinely like loves and cares about his players more than any manager I've ever been around. He wasn't my manager. He was my bench coach, but there's a big difference. And um, that matters. That matters to guys. It matters, especially when you have a young team uh, and an inexperienced team in big games like the Diamondbacks are. You have a ton of guys who haven't been there, haven't done that. Um, and when you have a manager who goes, hey, guys, we're right where we need to be. You got to go go there and win two games. You know what? Tory doesn't really say much in the media, but he did. He did. I think he, that was just kind of him standing up for his team. You know, the whole, like, we're not traveling there to get our ass kicked. Like, him, he doesn't say it like that in the media. So I think him speaking up like that kind of maybe fired up. It's kind of like the dad that, like, never yells at you. Like, it's always calm, like, but like if you met if, and then if you screw up and they do yell at you, they do get pissy, you're like, whoa. I must have really, you know, not that they're in trouble, but just that effect of like he doesn't say a whole lot publicly. So when he did, they got their attention. Like, oh let's go. 